From the top of the teeth and the tip of the tongue, we're about to get it done. Pull up a seat and have a drink. It's the half happy hour. Hey, special football season opener episode. Oh yeah, it's football season. And it's the reason for the season to get it going. Do you got your party setups ready? We can talk about that. We got another beer review. We got sports reviews. We got other stuff going on. We got bits, clips, and everything else that fits. And a hot pepper challenge at the end. It's Woo. the half happy hour. Johnny, Johnny, get out of my sight. It don't come back until it's worth my time. Johnny, Johnny, get out of my sight. It don't come back until it's worth my time. I don't know what's happy about it, but it's halfway there. It's, it's, it's half... There. It's happening. We're, we're getting it's there. And okay, we're half-assing our way into something sure. happiness. Yeah, with, we get I need a beer now. Oh, God. Ha! That's what it is. I haven't had a beer yet. Ha! Liar. If you would not mind, pretty please, with some sugar on top, may I have a beer from <sighs> side stage over there? Stage, uh, I think that would be we'll stage it. left, even. Uh, I'll have a blue beer, unless there's, like, a random color Just beer. give him a blue beer. We're, so, we're, um, yeah, that way we can start without it. Been doing anything this week? Or? You know, it's actually been a rather. Late? It's been a rather slow, easy week for a change. Been catching up on the rest. Got Labor Day, of course, coming up. Uh, just been kind of, you know, the kids are back in school and, and the virtual learning is a thing now. Yeah. So, uh, I've, you know, taken it upon myself to try to be super dad and just like burn the candle at both ends, you know, you got the night job, but then I'm staying up all day with my kid while he does the virtual learning. And if I'm not, like, awake the whole time, I'm definitely, like, asleep on the couch right next now, to him while he's doing it. I have a question about the virtual learning. Um, are you having any of the technical problems that all the people are complaining about on yes. TV? Yes. Like, I don't know. Uh, I don't have to Day one was a nightmare. <laughs> it was a nightmare. Like, we had to call the school three or four times, make sure we were getting it done right, and, uh... You know, they were like, yeah, he's counted in right now just because you called, you know, to make sure. So, like, they were really helpful at our school. Like, we, we go to, he has a Midlothian school that he goes to, Midlothian, Texas. Like, big shout out to you guys. It's a little country, like, uh, country town. Yeah, and like, well, for Texas, the budget y'all are working with, y'all are killing it. So, you know, thanks for that. You know, yeah. definitely not any false advertisement there with what they've been doing. Awesome, you know? awesome, awesome. Been a lot of false advertisement on TV, however. Oh, man. Um, don't get me started with the fucking goddamn TV shit. Um, but yeah, hey, but going the there, before we, we, we kind of skipped over. Um, we, um, wrapped up our barn, the barn, we wrapped it up oh. over, over the weekend. Um, we're, we're done with that the barn project for wrap. now. Um, it was, uh, until you're ready for fun, season you know? two. Ah, uh, whatever, we're going to. We got to be a up. season two. I never got to, two. I never got to jump in for the pool. We just got to do this thing called um, figure it out. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Dude, that could be like a whole series right there with you. Like so, this place, all the stuff you do. Uh, you can just figure it out with now, Raj. You, you talk about the TV shit. Okay, God damn it. You started these, these commercials. Man, the fucking, <laughs> the, the fucking pizza places. I don't give a fuck all of them. Oh. I'm not going to name any of them because you're all guilty. Um... The, the product they show you on the, your fucking tube at the house is not what they give you when you go to the store. But anyway. Yeah, um, like... Uh, that's, that's where I'm, I'm going to stop for a second. No, I, I'm huge I, on the french fry controversy. That's a big one. I'm a... I'm a um, mm. You know, that, you know, you go and you get the medium fries, and it's like, you go and you get the large fries, pour the two out, you get the same amount. Yeah. You're just paying for the larger box. You pan for the, uh, the the medium you know. large debate is a debate for another fucking day. When does the hamburger ever look like it is on the commercial? It has never. Yeah. You open that wrapper. I mean, my God, it tastes good, but when is it? It doesn't. Ah, whatever. You oh know, it's a big disappointment. Everything's just a fucking disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hey, um, then we have sad, a, sad a, um, a new special guest. Speaking this of week. disillusionment and sad, sad world, um, yeah, man, and sports. Uh, well, sports. We got to get into that up. too, and. Um, Talking about that, you know, we got. Um, um, uh, yeah, yeah, we see them there. Some, some helmets from a football team. We're not going to mention which one it is because he'll sue us. And you know the team. If you like the team, let me hear you scream. 
Hey, hey, hey. On that note, coming on in with our dick of the week, here's Harry Dix. I lost the game! <laughs> yeah, but that makes me lose the game. You dumb shit! Up there. That makes me lose the game! If you don't because know... Because you said the game, what the game I is. am in the game, we're both out of the game! You see, if you think about the game, you've lost it. However, if you forget about the game, you've won it. But then to actually acknowledge the fact that you've won the game, you've therefore thought about the game. Don't lose the game. Are you ready, man? Ah! Am I ready? Oh, shit. Anybody get the number? Anybody? Anybody? Thank you for reading. That's why I am. Uh, I'm Harry Dix. You're exactly right. Oh. Well, there's that. Well, who's your dick of the week? Dick of the week, uh, I'm going to pick one of the Jerry Joneses. Why don't I say one of the Jerry Joneses? Because everybody knows he's a damn clone. We've got about like 50 of them in the locker room. One dies and they pull another one out. The original Jerry Jones died like 30 years ago. You still feeling the effects of the hit? A little bit. Am I having a stroke? You may How be. many Jerry no, Jones? That's get, there, there's at least 50 of them right now. They run more. They got another batch running once they get down to close to 20. They run another batch of them. They'll never be out of Jerry Joneses. He had himself cloned. You don't believe me. They go to lo any locker room. There's a locker room designated just for Jerry Joneses. They're all sitting in there with the suit and ready to go. And all of them say the same thing. Well, I about them Cowboys. They're going to be pretty good this year. So you're telling me that Jerry Jones right there. That Jerry Jones right there. Is not that Jerry Jones right there. No. If you get real close and you lift up the not back the of the hairline. Not the same Jerry Jones. You get real close and lift up the back of the hairline, you'll see what number he is. There's a tattoo of which number there, so you can keep track of them, because some of them malfunction every now and then. Blowing your mind, Dana. I'm having a stroke. I'm ha I don't no. smell toast, but... That was that hit I just put on you. That ain't the Jerry Jones thing, that's the hit I just put on Something. you. I think we should give the host a break, because we have another sports person who would like to also speak. I think you should bring him on and take a break, because I bet you smell an iron right now. Yep. <laughs> And with sports news now, here's Joe and Jeff. What's going on, Joe? Not much. You say you know the Mavericks out. Yeah, Mavericks out. I hope it's Denver and Houston. It was 0 one you know, Lakers and uh, Clippers. But now it's 1-1, so I hope it goes the other direction and the heck with both of them. I hear you. What about them Rangers? I thought going into this season, you know, they actually had a chance, but damn it, didn't nobody catch COVID enough to, for them to have a chance. They've been up and down, but they're doing a little bit better than they had that last little section. Yeah, I know, but if the dang COVID would have hit some of the other teams, they would have had a better chance. <laughs> Probably so, but we just couldn't man, get that out. I don't get it. Of the COVID. I don't get it. How, how did COVID not get there? It didn't get there. I heard it got to Jerry Jones number 23. Oh, really? Did yeah, it Jerry now? Jones number 23 went down the other day. COVID. They was probably got number 24 and gave him a vaccine, I think. Well, I heard oh, ha -ha's out. Ha-ha, yeah. Ha-ha, Clinton Dix. Talking he's, about your dick. He's, he's gone. Yeah, y'all are out. You yeah. and your boys out, so. You and my boys. <laughs> you Mr. Dix or whatever it's called. <laughs> you know, so. Well, I appreciate you calling me Mr. Dix, because I didn't I would hate for you just to call me Dix. <laughs> You put the mister in front of it, you know it's D-I-X, right, asshole? It's whoever. It's, however, it's not D-I-C-K, it's D-I-X. It's whatever. You get a beer and some wings while you're at it. It is, okay. So who, who's your pick to win the NBA championship this year? I hate to say it, man, but if it goes to the limit and they're in there, them damn Bucks. The Bucks. 2010-2011. The Bucks stops here. The Mavericks lost to the Bucks when we won the championship. Yeah. Yep, I was at that game when we lost. Some dude walking down the runway out, going out, fear to dare. I got so pissed off, I just told him, fuck the Bucks. <laughs> fuck we the won Bucks. the championship that year, so. That's got rhymes. Ha -ha on him. That's got rhymes. Fuck the Bucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. Make a t-shirt. Yeah, we got people for that, you know. Yeah. Make some shirts. Oh. Well, they play tonight, maybe. I don't know. I know that. 
they up with that one game and they won their last game, so you know, seven. They won it in seven games. Oh yeah. Five four in overtime. See you, Cavalada Everler Lanch. Yeah, see you later. Alligator. They don't want to float down that river. No, nope, they're going to now. That's for sure. What about the the baseball? Who's gonna win the World Series? I couldn't give you a prediction on that. Well, I guarantee I you it's going it. to be a cheater. Whoever wins is going to be a cheater. Because they infected COVID on everybody else except the right teams to where the Rangers could go. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. There's some insiders on that. Baseball's rigged. I guarantee you it's rigged. Anything Joe Buck's involved with is rigged. Hey, it's been rigged since Pete Rose. <laughs> oh, Pete Rose. I wonder how much money he made betting on this team. Too damn. <laughs> he made quite a bit. He did, place. he did. Well, he's still doing good. He but he's still paying out on a little bit of that shit, too, though. I bet he collected enough, though, because he ain't working nowadays. <laughs> yep. And who's going to win the NFL? Who's going to win the Super Bowl this year? We got to start the season this you know, beginning of the season this weekend. Who's going to well, win? We ain't going to cry about what we get paid and don't get paid, and the Cowboys going to come through somehow. They're going to come through and say, I hear you, Dad. I'll drink to that. Already, shit. Every year they're going to come through some way. I'll be damn thing pissed off when they don't. Cowboys. But one thing guaranteed that's going to happen during the Cowboys season, over here at the barn, we are going to eat right. That's right. We are going to eat right Starting with tonight, we're going to eat right. What are we going to eat tonight? What are we eating tonight? Some pulled shoulder, pork, pulled pork, some shoulder. Pulled pork shoulder. Shoulder, but that's all the same. You know, they just what they call it. Wait a minute, Joe. A shoulder and a butt are different, just so you know. No, sorry, Bob. If you look it up online, they'll tell you. No, I a shoulder you. it, a butt butt is shoulder, vice versa. I ain't but, ever I ain't ever seen a shoulder take a crap. I ain't either, but a shoulder can't take a crap, a butt can. They say it's a shoulder, but they call it butt at the store. That's only how big a girl she is. If she's got shoulder and butt both on her, on the down low, then that's going to be in trouble. Like big butt you hit it? Okay. All right, so what other sports we got left here? What about drag racing? Yeah, I don't that's know nothing about Rogers, drag racing. That's Rogers stuff. <laughs> I, I haven't seen much of drag racing. What's that I race shit really... where they go around and around and go left, go left, go oh, left? that's NASCAR, though. Now, what is it? That's what's on now, NASCAR. Oh. All they do is make left turns. I don't get that shit. Won't they make a ride every now and then? Go the opposite direction. How's it going, boys? Buddy? How you doing? How's it going? How's everybody doing out there? We're doing Let's pretty good. Let's produce Bob. Producer Bob want to break in and say, how you doing? How you doing? Good. You ever just wonder what the hell you doing with your life? Yeah, I am like, right now. Where are you going? What you doing? Where you came from? I'm headed in the who's direction of pit barbecue. You ever wonder who shit? I know you got to wake up and wonder who's shit in your pants. I do every day. No. Nah. I pray the shit away. Oh, that is shit in her own pants. I don't her right. Who's shit in shit stain. D shit stain, the underwear shit stain remover. I'm, that's uh, good for you. You got those. And on that well, note, we got to say, go ahead. The word of the day is office. I wish the boss would get off his ass and do something, man. I'm not even supposed to be here today. This has been the word of the day. And now we're going to review and taste test and everything else we can. We're just going to put this thing to the test. It's Dallas Blonde. Um, starting reading off the box, it's a Golden Balanced Session Ale from Deep Ellum Brewing Company. Um, yeah, it says session, not season. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm reading correctly. I've got bad Ellum eyes. Back here Authentic Cowboys like, I don't think well. Six um, glass here. Yeah. It's 5.2% alcohol by volume, loaded with citrus and floral hops. Golden balanced session ale. Let's see how it pours in the fucking glass. Yeah, we're going to test. First, we're going to check the openability. Now, the mic's up here this time, so we're going to go up here. Now, everybody, shh, because we're listening for the shh. Okay. Now, that not satisfying. No, it's going to give head. No, that's that's going to give head. All right, head. now we're going to test for pourability. You want to listen for a really good shh when you open the can. If you don't get the shh, you got lied to. It's Dallas. Everything sucks here. All right, this is just a regular straight pour. I know no, you did not you're supposed to do the side pour, pour, but I do the tall pour for a reason. I want to know how much head do I get? Let me know in the comments how much head do I get. Mm -hmm. And it looks like I get about 
two thirds head. Four and two thirds, right? Yeah, yeah. three but quarters it's head. It's settling really quickly. It you is, get more it head is. Out of that beer than you do in life, I guarantee you that. I want to say it's three quarters head, you're right. Hey, let me get one of them little ones because I'm not trying a big one. Now it's two thirds. Yes, we got a. We're, we're pouring off some in smaller. We're doing taste test and small, so that you know these are the size of our actual drinks. Yeah, we might drive home. And again with the tall pour. Golden hue, but still clear. And it does, it does really settle pretty quickly. All right, go ahead and. Not horrible. It's kind of warm. Let's clink it and drink it, boys. Clink it and drink it. Real horrible. Yeah. It is a very sweet ale. On the lighter side, did with the There's your yeah. Now, on the first taste, I've got. I definitely feel orange peels in there again. Yeah. Like, these guys like their citrus. Got a dry citrus. feel to it after. This is after like a Deep Ellum signature, I think, is like citrus. A little dry. Don't wet the whistle. It dries the whistle. And uh, this time, we're gonna try with no head. You're just trying to get fucked up. You ain't tasting. You're just trying to get fucked up. A little column A, a little column B. What the hell? All right, everybody has their own shot glasses. And uh, I want to say on the second round. What do you got? real deal? Now with the hops, I can definitely feel those on the back of my mouth where I'm feeling the orange in the front. I don't know if that's orange or like a lemon. The are on the side. The bread is on the side. But there's definitely, you can definitely taste the citrus. All right, Let's producer see. Ben's bringing out some shit as a surprise entry. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we gonna put something head to head, yeah. or are we gonna go ahead and separately? No, no, no. We're totally separately. All so, right. Where are we at? I guess these are also my bad. Uh, local brews from Lakewood Brewing Company. Uh oh. This one is a peanut butter temptress. It is 9.1 percent alcohol by <gasps> volume. It is peanut, peanut butter. Chocolate stout. It is delicious. Stout. This one. Is apple fritter ale. It is 8.5 percent alcohol by volume. Very very red appley apple pie filling up front. Uh, all you just go ahead and fill that, that cup up. So, <sighs> I got that much. Which do you want? Oh, well, let's try the apple fritter first. Give me a glass that's not tainted. Shot glass. Untainted go. cup. All right. This is their apple fritter ale. Would you hand me one of the shot glasses, please? If they're still sitting out. I don't see no more. Okay. Here's oh, one that's pretty untainted still. There ain't no more in there. Yeah, we're not just okay. right. The other ones are... Oh, yeah, you weren't here last night. I rinsed out. Yeah, there's enough left. I'll just drink out of the growler. <laughs> right, Doss is for me because I heard peanut butter ale. I don't have that much, so you're not getting the full size. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. As, I as was like involved to say, in this taste test last night, and I passed That's like his I favorite catchphrase. He likes to say, Fair it. enough. Yeah. yeah. It does. Like, he says it a lot. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me get the fuck off camera before y'all try these. Oh, Joe. This here. is the peanut butter, hold and on. this is the apple, right? Yes. Okay. Hold on. I apple can tell. fritter. Ooh, this smells like a friggin' Reese's peanut butter cup right yeah, here. Yeah, it pretty much is. All right, hang on, hang on. Let me nice. Eat. It's the peanut butter flavor. Let me close Lakewood. All right, like Pud, the first just for the smell alone. Jojo, get over there. Jojo, why don't you move over there where Pud is? I'm going to leave my beer then. So then we'll drink these and then we'll get our final thoughts on all of them. Yeah, yeah, hold on. All right, that works. All right. So we got a little sidetracked here because we got some surprise new beers. But hey, everybody's going to get judged fairly. Um, you know, that's right. how it is. Right. The lighter stuff right. smells good. <laughs> I'm an easy lay. They're all getting thumbs up probably. Apple fritter first. Apple fritter. That's the this guy right here. Or the light one. The light one. All right. Hey, man, come over here a little closer. The camera can't see you. All right. Go ahead and oh yeah, clink it and drink it. <laughs> I like that. Really? Not a fan. Too like much that. vinegar. I like there's that. a vinegar to it. I don't think there's actually vinegar in it, but it reminds me so much of apple cider vinegar, like. I don't know, like, do you ever had to take any as a kid from when you were sick? Oh, just, it's the worst. All right, let's All right. see what y'all think of the peanut butter chocolate. All right, and over here, and over here. Peanut butter chocolate, huh? Get in. Yes, sir. Dink it and drink it, clink it. Tastes like a peanut butter cup, smells like an ashtray. Now, that's a beer. That's a goddamn beer. 
Pardon my French. God, please forgive me for the use of your name in vain, but that was good. That was good. I want the first one. So you're an apple cider more than a peanut butter, huh? I guess I would call it apple cider, right? Well, they're whatever both from Lakewood, so whatever. we have Lakewood's... Peanut butter temptress. And Lakewood's... Apple fritter ale. And yeah, I'm apple fritter. He's a thumbs up on the apple fritter. I'm a thumbs up on the peanut butter. Now, can I get everybody's on the Dallas Blonde? No, you can't get me. Give me a Budweiser. No, I need a drink. So here's a thumbs up. We got a thumbs up from over there. If you got a thumbs up or a thumbs down, come bring it on camera. All right, he likes the Dallas Blonde. How about you? Who liked the Dallas Blonde? Thumbs up. Did you like it? I liked it. That's one, two, three. How about you? You're a hard sell. Did you like the Dallas Blonde? My opinion on the Dallas Blonde, if for some fucking reason I was like somewhere like Deep Ellum, and that it was ice goddamn cold, right? And I couldn't get a blue beer. I guess I could drink one. But, but, but I'm not giving specific circumstances. Right? No, no, no. I I'm dig it. A That's a big up from him. That's high praise from him. In fairness, this guy drinks nothing but the but the, the was, blue beer. It was piss warm and it tastes like shit. Like I'm pretty sure you know who's on this label. Like it doesn't say it, but it comes from here. It's a blue beer. It is time. Everybody prepare their buttholes to be on fire. Oh my god, no, the pepper. Not the peppers. Oh god, with the peppers. See, we tried a pepper challenge, I want to say a month and a half ago, right? In the dead heat of July. And we did not get that footage. I don't know where that got lost, but I know why it got lost. I have Tourette syndrome. And we're going to try it again. This time with a little bit more control to the experiment, but well, I'm in on this. A lot of pain tends eating. to trigger things coming out of my mouth. So. We got some good hot sauce eating I mean, coming up too, though. Pain gets everybody. Ready, period. You I know. I want some of that. Two, three, four. We all in. You got salt, Andy? Oh yeah. We need salt. salt. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah, need salt or anything, you owe you to. You said the last one that. Breaches for something is the winner. Yeah, all right. so, all right. Uh, okay. Four behind the bar, please. So what we got here, big cans of salt. We got beer left over from the experiment there. Yes. Set that away for me. By the way, we still need to know that. about crushability with this beer. I don't have no beer, salt, or water, or anything. You can have a rescue. It's just, you know, whoever goes first is the big loser. Oh, yeah. And y'all don't want to watch me twitch the hell. You can't drink no beer. Oh no! I'm no. claiming you can't drink no beer because the I heard these are our the rescues. Alcohol was the greatest to these take care of heat. Our our rescues can't drink nothing. Before any of them, no, we get rescues. Show you guys it's whoever rescues do. first loses. Whoever rescues last wins. Whoever reaches for a beer. Wow! So I'm telling you. I'm letting you know. I'm up. And I got you. Let's just go ahead and line up a bunch of beer shots right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want none of this. I don't need no shots. I got hey, I know you're younger. like a it's professional that pepper guy. Get that bad because I'm gonna win this thing. Like little known fact about JoJo here. Get in here. So yeah, people yeah. can see your face. Little known fact about Joe here. This is a professional pepper eater. Like people don't know, this guy can really put the peppers away. He eats so much hot stuff he has to dip his toilet paper in the water before he wipes. Seriously. I know because then it, this guy back know, here. That shit hurts. He can kill a pepper. This guy over here looks like he can handle a pepper. I'm new to peppers, but I've been okay. leveling up. I've been leveling up. I'm proud of that fact. Well, but what kind of pepper? Level up. What kind of pepper product did you bring us today, okay. Ben? If you've ever seen the show Hot Ones, yes. This is always the second to last. And okay. It's the one that destroys everybody. Gotcha. By the time they get done with this and they give them their hottest one, they're oh, like, no. there's nothing. No. This is called no. the bomb. I I'm quit ready. already. No, nope, stop. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to kill you. Now, I will. <laughs> okay. Everybody grab a cracker. That's a better cracker. That's, no, no, no. That's a better idea. Wait, that's a better idea. Everybody mm. grab a cracker. I just thought and pass them around. Polly want a cracker? No, I got it. Open the Why you call me a cracker, man? You just call me a cracker? Hey, we did. I sure did. Well, I'm going to Amazon. Two now, it don't take much of this. Now, in oh, fairness, God. I have done this several times. I will also do it because I'm not an asshole. But I'm going to do it with no cracker. 
Because I'm no bitch. I don't want no fucking cracker either, then, motherfucker. Okay. Right. Throw yeah. hands down for yeah. the no bitch challenge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the no bitch no too, but oh god. The challenge is no the cracker. Last, the last. Let me one, smell this. The last one to reach for the salt is the winner. This shit smells like an ashtray too. I'm gonna smell it. Oh. Y'all losing. I'm just telling you. I'm sweating Y'all already. Losing. I mean, it's not that hot out here Y'all like it losing. usually is, but I mean, it's still. All right, who's going no cracker? Right here with right Jeffro. Here. Depends on how much it's going to be on that spoon. Not much. Not much. All right, give me a dab. That yeah. way I can get this shit over with. Everybody's going to wait and do it at the same I'm time. I'm going to go ahead and open this now. Y'all know. Y'all just go ahead. Y'all can have the challenge without me. I'm just I'm trying. I'm going to win this thing. I'm sorry. You can win. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's no prize. It's just, you know, you got the biggest balls of the people doing the fucking challenge. Well, I got you. I'm, <laughs> my balls are, you know, like ACDC. Again, I'm gonna do it with y'all. No cracker. <laughs> Hold on, don't spill it. No, don't do it yet. Don't oh, do God. it yet. Don't do it yet. What do you got? I'm actually that scared. What do you got in that spoon? You, you better like, I don't know if you guys spoon. know about. That's all he's getting. It's Jeffro. Hot Is peppers. Hang, hang on. Yeah, that's all I'm giving you. Yeah. Give me a little bit more. Okay. okay. Please. No, this okay. guy's a professional pepper guy now. So am I, but okay. You want more than that, or is that enough? Oh fuck, it's on my arm. Oh no, you're Like, just so, I don't know if you can see, oh, I'll zoom in later. Is. Joe this is how much is on the oh, spoon. Oh no! You're supposed to wait. Oh yeah. well, too bad. Fuck, here we go, guys. Go. One, two, three. Spoon's up! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Woohoo! Here comes the heat. Uh, you lose. Uh uh. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I got something with my goddamn arm. They're pretty fucking hot. Yeah, fuck with that. It just keeps getting hotter. (laughs) Shit just keeps getting hotter. Eat the cracker. Uh Eat the cracker. Eat the cracker. Eat the cracker crackers. There you go, man. What's 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 going to happen? See, he's drinking beer, so that cancels them out. Uh Uh-uh, it's still hot fuck. Gotta reach for salt. No, I gotta go outside. Yeah, there you go. Go outside. <laughs> oh, I got the hiccups already. It's hot. <laughs> it's hitting the throat now. <laughs> it's pretty damn hot. Look at Jeff's, Jeff's sweating bullets. I was sweating already. Now I'm sweating even more. <laughs> I'm chilling. Let's um, just chill like a billion. Yeah, that's good for me. I'm gonna need some goddamn beer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Damn, I've been sweating now. I've got the hiccups. My tongue is asking me to get some salt. And Joe started before all y'all. Yeah, he did. Joe's sweating too, though. I'm not getting there sweating, but it's hot because it's fan, but... Uh, Alright, what do y'all got to give before we Ooh. end the show? Damn. I'm coming back, but I had to tap out. Oh my god. I was getting the cigarette <laughs> right when Mom was gives. Wait, does the cigarette count? No. Joe, <sighs> don't smoke. <sighs> well, a cigarette don't help. Just call it a No, that's not why I'm smoking it. Uh, I'm waiting until one of us gives before I light it. Just call it a tie there. Uh, Alright, looks like Bud and Joe, the last one standing. Uh, I melted immediately. <laughs> immediately. I wasn't doing it. So, now y'all understand why I, I just need so much salt. Oh my god. So much salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so much salt. Uh, I said let's call this a tie. Y'all, uh, yeah? <laughs> Joe, Joe's glasses are off, though. I call Man, it I'm still going. I call it a tie. Well, y'all stay there. Sin, you want to end the I'm show? I'm going. You, uh... yeah, hang on. Okay. Oh, man, that's funny. Yeah, I told you. This is hot as fuck. That's why on that show, hot ones, everybody gets that and they die. Then they get the next one. They're like, man, that is shit. Yeah. That's the hottest one. They always put it second to last, but it's the hottest one. I promise. That is like it's my hotter as it goes. Yeah. That is but like those ain't running yet. I'm good. I need another like freaking beer. Yeah, no, yeah. We no, no, got to run it beforehand. All right. That was amazingly hot. All right. And I was good. asking for All right, it. Pudge, take a drink. Woo. Joe wins. Pudge out. You're in, Joe. All right, go ahead and end this 
What's up, dude? Well, uh, let's give it up. Yeah, yeah I got the point. And Joe had the most. My lips are on fire. It's time to retire. This was the half happy hour. Let's see if we can even sing it. This was the goodbye song, my friend. This is a goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Woo! Some people say goodbye. Now get the fuck out of this bar. We don't need no liquid. We feel good. It was hot, but it wasn't that hot. I effectively killed them all. And then we don't need none of this beer, but I'll drink it because it's getting hot. Tastes like a peanut butter cup, smells like an ashtray. Now that's a beer. That's a goddamn beer. Pardon my.